<laughs> Stretchiest testicle skin I've ever seen, bitch. <laughs> Are we live? Yeah. yeah. Hey, hey, mom. mom hey, dad. dad. Um, this is episode number 35 of the Marty Michael Fully Actual Podcast, and we are five episodes away from the season finale. We have nine weeks of uh, like work left before we have our little end of year break, and five episodes of the podcast left. I'm getting down about that. And by the way, so not this episode, Sorry. obviously, but so tomorrow, it's Thursday right now, tomorrow I'm going to book in the venue. So not this episode, but next week's episode, we're going to have a link to the tickets for the live show. Okay. It's going to pick one with the Judith Wright Center was booked out. We we're too slow. So it's been rough, man. There's a lot to organize still. We'll have a special guest on. We don't know who yet, but we're going to get one on. And Matt's shitting himself. Yeah, what? What? So that's gone now. Matt's he's Matt sits in offices and screams at concreters all day, and now he's going to be thrust in front of hundreds of people. Wait, where? What venue? <laughs> See, look at that. Why haven't you? Look at the confusion. I thought we were doing the Judith. <laughs> look at the confusion, so, glazed over eyes. So Judith is gone. Yeah, it's yeah. stupidly gone. Yeah. Where are we going to get then? You'll see. Oh, <laughs> I hate. <laughs> you'll you'll see everything soon, Brown. I'm planning the, be I'm revealed. planning the second one. Because What's that mean? We're gonna do another one. Yeah, we got to see if we're good first. We're, we're gonna be better. We're, the look, second it's gonna time. cost a little bit of money, so Fuck. so we're gonna charge a very small amount just to cover costs because we don't want to charge too much. So it's gonna be like between ten and twenty bucks because. We don't. We're worried that we're going to be shit because, like, we've never really done a live show before. Matt's, like I said, he sits in an office screaming at assistants all day. I'm fine. Did you oust anyone today? Oh, I was pretty short with a few people, but um, I. <laughs> he would be the biggest <laughs> yeah, look of at, a boss. <laughs> That's why that person's <laughs> mum said she didn't like working with yeah. him. <laughs> Took it to Brown. Like, hey, okay, I've come in late. What happens? Uh, I've walked in. Hey, Brown, what the fuck's up, cunt? You're 15 minutes late. Well, first off, no one would dare speak to me like that. Oh. Although I've got everyone, nearly everyone on handshakes now. So uh, it's been good. Right. It's, it's brought the staff closer. Hey, Brown, sorry I'm late. <clears throat> I'm 15 minutes late. All good, man. All right, it's the next day. Hey, Brown, sorry I'm late. I'm half an hour late now and I've got mustard on my jeans. <laughs> I'd say all good and I'll let you sit down before maybe chatting to you maybe later in the day to see if everything is all right. Okay, so we sit down. Um, here we go. I don't want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't like the role play. I it brings him back to work. <laughs> Fuck, I don't want to so do shit. this. <laughs> um, I'd just check if everything, I'd check if everything was okay and I'd see... <laughs> If um nothing, I, I'm getting everything's fine. No, 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 everything's fine. Seriously. What time are you starting? Are you starting in the early mornings? You're starting in the late. Yeah, sorry, shifts? it was fucking traffic, cunt. Yeah. Okay, what so, do you want me to do? It's traffic. So would an earlier shift suit you so you can beat the traffic? No, a later shift, no, less like, hours. I, like tw I want to come in for three hours, actually two hours. I can't. I need you for nine hours. All right, I'll be on time tomorrow. And okay. then he's late. Fast forward to tomorrow. Oh, hour okay, late. Okay, it's tomorrow. I'm an hour late. And now he's got tomorrow. So brown. I'm late. Is this he's a third late? Same mustard set of jeans. Okay, well, one, I'd be like, hey, man, take a look at your jeans. Maybe wash them. And then say, oh, nah. Because your appearance is nah, not good. Okay. I'm not doing My that. My washing machine's broken. All right. God, what do you Sweet. want me to do? Pay me more. And I'm you're late again. washing machine. All right. Um, I can't do anything about your pay. You have to speak with the other manager. Um, but, yeah, I'd wash your jeans, too, because you're... You know, That's sexual harassment. Appearance. That's not sexual Done. harassment. That I've just reported you to top office. You can't report me for sexual violence for saying that your jeans are dirty. That's very sexual. If you're going to get in this role Look play, get into it. I don't want to do this Look anymore. This My grandmother they're died. They're fucking bored. <laughs> if your grandmother oh, died, oh, we'll do. We're here for you. What do you need? Uh, like a I new want grandmother. Sex. I want some sex. A concrete no one would grandmother. Say that. <laughs> I want some no sex. one would say I want some sex. <laughs> a concrete grandmother sculpture. <laughs> Build my bitch, yeah. yeah build 50 it. meters tall. I really don't want to do this anymore because every single person is different in how you deal with them. All right, look, oh, look, yeah. look. We gotta, we gotta move on. All yeah, right? we, we do gotta move we're on. Starting quite late, all right? We got a jam. Got a plan alive. We got a jam-packed episode. Uh, Blake and Paulie were meant to come on this episode, but Blake is stuck in Bali because he's lost his what? He's lost his passport, was it? I think his girlfriend's like been in an accident. What? Lied to you. Fuck. Good work. Hmm. 
Anyway, but uh, yeah, so Blake's stuck in Bali, and then so we just said, "I'll oh, just come on with Blake um, like next week or the week after, Paulie." Um, so they're due on either next week or the week after. We've got a lie set up. We've got a Bachelor Brown. We've got fucking. There's just it's a jam packed episode. So let's jump straight into the deep end. <laughs> oh, before oh, we start, wow. did um, did ja- um, did Jackson call yeah. you guys? Yeah, because he's called me and asked me to come for an interview with him. You're lying. Yeah. Fuck. That was such a bad Cut lie, Jack. Connor. <laughs> no, Connor, leave that in. People need to see how bad Matt is at that lie. No, no, can we cut that? Please. <laughs> oh, Matt. Please. <laughs> All right, and we're back no, now. No, cut that. <laughs> Matt just did a really bad lie and he wanted it out, so we had to cut it. I'll quit. <laughs> <laughs> leave it in. Don't. Connor. <laughs> Cut it. Hot air. Yeah, yeah, hot it's rocks. So hot. hot rocks is syphilis. We don't have air con. Look at him. Syphilis. You don't have air con. Not yeah. in this room. We got a fan. Uh, we can't yeah. put that on. It'll blow everything. We, no, we can set up a series of fans from the lounge room and blow the cool like air. The old days. We could do that. Anyway, let's move Holy right along. Holy shit, right? it's hot. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Michael's obsessed with Fortnite again. It's fucking <sighs> unbelievable. It's not good. Matt and Michael are having Fortnite offs. Yeah. Oh, we haven't really competed against each other I'm good I've only just started get playing it I played a little bit a few years ago I've played like 20 matches and fuck am I good you are very good naturally so yeah naturally oh, gaming Sorry. also we, we're back to film and we've already filmed like 7 videos this week we did a website video you might be wondering why we're wearing band-aids on one hand each where we um, try, attempted to sand our fingerprints off to see if you can do that and we're sorry about the blanket Matt. Anyway, Maybe we won't so. give too much away, but that'll be a website video. I obviously. literally, I literally left the house and slept somewhere else last night. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're, so we're back to fucking filming absolute bangers. Come, <laughs> all right. Um, let's move right along the sponsors, you dog <clears throat> shits. Hey, man, are you are you so? so Stupid that your fucking wife left you. Well, shut up and sit down on your rug because you don't even have furniture yet. You're fucked, man. And if you want, if you want a better life, you maybe need to consider going to manscaped.com. They've got all the things you need to make sure. Hang on. This is a part of the sponsor. Hang on. Help me. Help me with this. Manscaped.com. Use our discount code FULLYACTUAL20 to get 20% off everything that you need. What the noise you just heard is manscaped.com. Do you understand? Fully actual 20 for 20% off. They got all sorts of male grooming shit. All right, they got fucking ball wipes so you can get sucked off on trains and buses and sucked off in the cinemas. You can get sucked off in a restaurant. You can get sucked off at a park. You can get sucked off underneath the bridge by two homeless sweats. And they're, they're cans. And they got cans and shit. Underwear. I, I can't even begin to explain the amount of products Manscaped has to make your life better. Get up! Get up and get out of your self-pity pool of shit, cunt. You fucking worthless pigs. You get up and go to manscaped.com and use that discount code. Fully actual 20 for 20% off, man. You fucking cunt. Do something. Do something. Get up and get sucked off. (laughs) Also for women. (laughs) There's also some women stuff on there. That's legit. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah. It is. It's a. It's mainly women, I think. Are yeah. the cameras going? That was bowling. Yeah. Wow. See, manscaped. And of course, our other sponsor, the University of Market, where we put all of our really fucked up content. <coughs> and the video out right now. Oh, I watched it last night. It's um, do painkillers work? And that, everyone, remember a few weeks ago, I had that fucking massive bruise on the back of my leg. Well, that video gave me. Oh, just stop! I'm sorry. Oh no! You want to fucking break the set? We'll break the set. I thought Michael was watching. He's always watching. <laughs> Fuck! Oh. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Are you okay, Michael? Yeah, my eye hurts. I'm so sorry. I, usually you're ready for it. Sorry. Anyway, oh. on the website, we fucking really hurt ourselves. It's the video that gave me the biggest bruise I've ever had. And then we take a bunch of painkillers, really strong painkillers, and far too many of them. And then we do the painful things again to see if it works. Sign up, 21 day free trial. The link's in the fucking description. See if you like the content. You can leave free of charge if you don't, but I bet you will. So go and have a look, cunt. Yeah, it's Did very it work? good. What? Yeah, yeah. Oh, well, the you got to watch well, it. Well, you got to watch it, man. Yeah, mm -hmm. see how curious you are at our science. <laughs> Everyone is. There's a level of curiosity there. Actually, somebody. Ashley. Actually, somebody. Actually, Ashley. Actually, <laughs> Ashley. Actually, <laughs> Ashley. Ashley. Actually, somebody. Actually. <laughs> oh fuck me! What happened? <laughs> somebody gave me uh, a login and signed me up and I didn't realize it. I thought they were giving me their login. I was like, oh no, no, it's okay. I won't use it. Someone's yours. paying for you and you still And then someone paid for me and then they're like, hey, are you using it? And I was like, oh my God, I didn't realize like, yeah, no, don't. So, so even, so, so let me get this straight. Yeah. Free so you, you are so unsupportive that someone else is paying <laughs> for you. Do and you, know you won't even go and watch. Do you know the human being that's doing that? No, um, no, he's just uh, another member. And uh, what a legend to do that. But I was so brain dead that I didn't realize it was like a gift. And I so apologize for that. You're a fucking Have you even pig, used man. it once? You're a fucking no, dirty I, pig. No, never. Don't watch. I want to do, we want to do a video where we show Matt Brown some of the, um, I don't some of the fucked up I videos. don't think I can watch some of them. We really yeah. divided our audience yeah, last, week. last week. was That's a, definitely a one I'm, I'm not too keen this the sandpaper finger tips off will probably be rough to yeah. watch for people as well oh. self mutilation is often hard to watch but mm. anyway that's the website that's what we do there we do vlogs too behind the scenes of our lives and we go and do fucking weird shit oh, so man. there's there's over 220 videos on there and most of them are like half an hour to 40 minutes long cunt the vlogs are just for members aren't they well, like, the website ones. You don't oh, yeah. put them out on the. Well, we can't. They're too. There's yeah, so much there's fuck shit in there, man. Oh, because your vlogs are what quite open, aren't they? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <sighs> mm. All right, moving right along. We um, are running out of time, so what, what, what? so we're gonna do jump straight into the lying segment. All right. Now I don't know. I'm a bit nervous about this one. All right. I don't know how how our mate is gonna take this. So I'm about to call um, Peter Fegan. All right. He's a journalist he's on tv all right he has helped us um a lot through our content he used when we did which sport is the scariest he got like heaps of guests for us and he's just always a very helpful guy he's a right? big deal yeah so um we thought we I, I was i messaged him early today and i was like oh hey mate we got a video idea um to run by you just wondering if you think it's newsworthy so i'm gonna fucking call him and i'm gonna come up with the most fucked fucked video idea and just see how he reacts he knows you guys and the content you do. Oh, let me answer that question with this. Okay. <laughs> Just be clear. Be clear. <laughs> I'm playing the drums. I'm playing the drums. They're, they're, they're wet, like a bit. They're normal uh, lies. They're not like uh, spaced. They're dissolved. Swamp. Yeah, it's like mush. A swamp. Damp mush. Anyway, sorry. Sorry, you had to, uh, to hear that. Where's the phone now, huh? Mangroves. Hey, mate, how are you? Oh, I'm not too bad, Feezy. How are you going? <laughs> what are you mate, I was watching that video the other day where you were pulling those rubber bands back on that basketball court, mate, and I was fucking laughing, mate. I could not. Mate, he well, he's so terrible at every sport. <laughs> He's actually, he's actually pretty but he's fucking. He's actually good. really good at footy. Like I was, yeah. Uh, well, yeah, well, he's he's usually quite good at sport, but yeah, he fucking crumble. I'm just good at getting in his head. Yeah, that's no good. So, what are you boys up to? What's doing? Yeah, so look, we got we had a pretty wild idea, um, but so I just thought I'd see like if if this mm -hmm. is a bit too fucked up for the news. Yeah. So, yeah. um, so we Michael and I met this like plastic surgeon. Um, like a year ago and we've sort of just been like yeah. staying in contact with him um, a little bit and we ran this idea past him and we, we obviously have to pay for this surgery um, yeah. but basically Michael and I what we're going to do is um, we're going to like maybe take some painkillers get a bit bit dosed up and then we're going to um, remove cut our pinkies off 
take them to the plastic surgeon and then see if he can like put Michael's pinky on my hand and put my <laughs> pinky on Michael's hand? Yeah, you're going to cut them off. Yeah, well, we got tin snips. So we're just going to like just fucking cause, and just like sort of put our finger in between and then just like bang down really hard on them and just hope oh, that it's just a clean cut. That I mean, that'd be too much. That'd be, <laughs> it'd be, oh my God, fucking hell. I mean, that'd probably be, that'd be, there'd be too much for us, but that'd be probably be taken off all socials anyway, wouldn't it? Yeah, well, it's, well, we're going to do it as like a, um, a website exclusive, but we thought, you know, and, and not have like any of the cutting and stuff, but maybe just have the, um, like the aftermath, like the us coming out of the surgery room and I've got Michael's pinky and the surgeon reckons like he could make it so that like they're fully functioning pinkies. So I'll just have Michael's pinky on me and Michael will have one of my pinkies on him. What do you, what do you love ones? Think about that. Well, we haven't run it by them yet. <laughs> Mate, I reckon you should run it by them before you run it by me. <laughs> I, I, I reckon, I reckon it'll be shut down pretty quickly. <laughs> Yeah, I well, mean, it's a good thing. You'll you'll get coverage. There's no doubt about it. You'll absolutely and utterly get coverage. Yeah, whether you like it or not, it it, it wouldn't be something that we would report on in terms of, hey, look, these guys are about to do this. All right. Well, what, what about certainly, it, yeah? So it would hundred percent make fuck my Daily Mail, mate. Every, everyone would dump on it. Everyone would absolutely and utterly dump on it. Yeah, we do like a like a Frankenstein sort of angle. But the other idea we had. Um, was that we both get just one fake tit just in the middle of our backs, and the plastic <laughs> surgeon said he hasn't he'd he'd need to see how that works. But like that's like probably a little less yeah. gruesome. That's less gruesome. You, you, mate, either or, you would get coverage. People would just pick it up. Like you, you wouldn't have to even put it out there. Yeah. You would just say, mate, look what these guys have done. <laughs> mate, Daily Mail, News dot com, Courier. The, the the short answer is we wouldn't in any way, shape or form endorse you guys doing it. But we would 100%, mate, without doubt, everyone would, would, would report on it, 100%. <laughs> it would probably be like right. be negative feedback though, wouldn't it? If- well, you, you're going to get mixed feedback, but mate, put it this way. Uh, I reckon I reckon your loved ones will probably be the ones that will push back more than anyone else. <laughs> like, I, I know that, you know, like, it's a fucking fantastic idea. And I want to see it. But, <laughs> I want to see it, but yeah, it's not something we certainly wouldn't say. Oh, yeah, we're going to endorse this, blah blah blah. But we would report on it, hundred <laughs> percent. You would get, you would get mixed feedback. Yeah, but you would get. I mean, that's something that'd go. That's something that'd go overseas. Like that's massive. Yeah, well, that's that's the fucking plan. But Feegsy, um, I can't fucking mm. do it to you anymore, mate. We've actually got you on the podcast right now, and this is our lying... Oh, you're fucking <laughs> joking. <laughs> 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 oh, fucking hell. Oh, fucking hell. Look at this. I was sitting there going, what the fuck? <laughs> you were quite supportive of it, <laughs> dude. So supportive. I loved it. <laughs> Fucking hell. I love that. Overseas, oh. It'll make overseas news. <laughs> oh, I'm sitting there going, you're not going to cut your own fucking... <laughs> oh, oh, fuck. oh, that was good, boys. Was good. I, was like, I was sitting there going, what a fucking tit in your back. What the fuck? <laughs> We've actually did have that idea when we were fucking... Oh weren't getting anywhere with the videos but yeah that's we're definitely uh, not, definitely that not good, gonna actually. do that, that was good. I, i'm actually a big supporter of your uh, podcast <laughs> but oh mate yeah. oh, i was sitting there going nah this can't be serious they're not gonna cut their fingers off <laughs> imagine if we fucking did i wonder if that's possible oh wow Maybe nah, we should, we probably, should. no but you know what if, if, you know what you should try it all right easy said we'll do it <laughs> Oh, that's unreal. <laughs> yeah, sorry, mate. We're fucking running out of mates to call on. I thought we'd fuck nah, it. I'll just, nah, I'll that's just all right. Bloody, that's all right. I'll just, just thought that's... I'd give you a buzz. And... <laughs> oh, mate, that's fine. Oh, I love that. That was great. <laughs> <laughs> and that's the fucking lying segment. We got him, baby. 
<laughs> Another one down. <laughs> I knew he'd be fucking real polite about it. Yeah, he was say, like, but like it probably would be international news if we did that. And unbelievable. Like had functioning had functioning. Pinkies. Can they function? But like he, he I know they can like, sew it. You'd think he'd be like, dude, don't do that. <laughs> well, he did say, don't run it by him. Run it by yeah, your yeah. loved ones. There's no way Mono Amber would let us do that. You reckon? <laughs> Because there's, there's a chance that one's pretty chill with when stuff. you get it like reattached that it's like it won't work. Yeah, and then you just get it lopped off and then you're done with it. Yeah, <laughs> like you got heaps of fingers anyway. Yeah. There was a friend of yours. Um, McLannon. <laughs> yeah. I, I think it was like Smith's last name. I can't remember his first name. Greg? No, not Greg. Um, he, but uh, he was telling us at the, the old one of the old houses that he's like, hey, for a video one day, I'll, I'll just go and chop my pinky off and I'll, we'll run and get it sewed back on. It'll just, just be funny. And what? he was dead serious about it. He's a mate of yours. Oh, we'll talk about it later. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry about sorry. that. Sorry. sorry about Matt, everyone. <laughs> so <laughs> sorry. Fuck him so, off today. So <laughs> sorry about Matt um, ruining the, uh, potentially the evening there. So yeah. sorry, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> All right, moving right along. Next, we have our Bachelor Brown segment. Oh, and I know we've been doing this segment man. all season, but and and uh, I read some of the comments that this segment's getting a bit stale. But I'm done with it. Look, we we got to we got to see it through now. We've only got five episodes left, and we're going to try our best to get uh, through the top three onto the finale. No, okay? we the can't. Live show. Yeah, we we'll have to talk about that because I don't think it's a possibility. <laughs> Matt, anything well, is possible. No, no, no we'll talk about it then. We'll talk about it then. <laughs> Not anything is possible. We'll talk man. about it at the end. <laughs> All right, so Bachelor Brown, Michael and I have hand-selected s- girls to have phone dates with Matt. And because Matt's gotten real shaky and he's lost all his confidence over the years of brutal rejection after rejection after rejection after rejection. No, 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 no. Help! It's Help! worn him into a stub of a man and he's a nervous fuck wreck. And now we have to do everything to try and make him happy. Sorry. All right, where. Who is this person? Her, Her name, name is, is Lydia. Lydia. Please answer. There was a Lydia. girl named Lydia when I was in. Oh, Maybe it's her. Everyone, we are so sorry. It's a uh, we we have a, a, a fallen victim to another case of the uh, nervousness, rejection, <laughs> rejection. Uh, happened without even again. without even speaking to Matt, she's decided, <laughs> nah, fuck it. So we will have to abandon this week's Bachelor Brown. All right, moving right along. On this day. Bong break. Bong break. Health problems. (laughs) Wasn't very good. And we're back. Oh, you got to clean your face. Oh, you've got sauce on your ass. Clean How your face. How did you face. do that? Soot. Clean your face. Oh, you smell like dog. <laughs> what do you think I was just eating? <laughs> dog. Oh, I've got an itchy From head. Chinese restaurant. Should we chuck a, a scream segment in to make up for the Bachelor Brown? Just wait, Matt. You said something to me before. Uh, yeah, you went out to the shit. Uber Eats driver. <laughs> While we were doing the lying segment, no. Matt ran out. I don't want to say this. He thought it was poorly because Matt still thinks that Paulie's coming on today. <laughs> <laughs> so he goes to the Uber driver. Hang on. Goes, I'll Paulie, see. Paulie. Hang on, hang on, hang on. So you were doing the lying segment to um, Paulie. We're doing the lying segment. And so I saw the car pull up and I thought it was Paulie because I was expecting a guest. And so I ran out front to like stop him from being all excited and loud because then that would ruin the prank call. And then um, when I got there, he was sort of standing by the car. He wasn't coming towards the house. So I said, oh, Paulie, Paulie. And he's just, he goes, oh, he goes, he goes, uh, delivery. And I was like, oh, okay. (laughs) Unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> so, so technically, the line was on that. Got me. Yeah. We <laughs> kind of got the brown flower town. <laughs> anyway, on this day, and on this day is where Matt comes in real early and he researches on this day in history something crazy that happened, to everybody. And uh, yeah, he's quite passionate about them. Aren't you? There's always some sort of. Anyway, it's poorly coming. On this day. <laughs> 
in 1208. <laughs> Fuck. That's a long time ago. It's like 100. Phyllis Yutglit wrestled nine foxes down a hill. She snapped the fox's snouts as they lunged at her, and she grabbed their bottom jaws and twisted them off. The foxes looked real fucked with their only their upper jaw and then their tongues just dangling out of their mouth holes. Phyllis laughed at the funny-looking foxes. People from all over town heard about the funny-looking foxes and came to see them. Soon enough, people from all over the world would come to see these hilarious foxes. Phyllis started charging them money to see the half-snouted foxes, and that's how tourism was invented. The foxes quickly caught on and started staying away from humans. That's why they're so hard to catch now. I'm Matt and I'm a woman. (laughs) 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 All right. Well, there you go. That's how tourism was invented. That's fucking crazy, man. And it's so true. Foxes are so like easily spooked now. And it that must be in fun. their DNA after all that snout snapping, is it? I'm suddenly on edge. On the edge. I of- don't feel comfortable anymore on this podcast right now tonight. <laughs> you I've just been, want to do all the too time. many lies. <laughs> you need too many Xanax. no shows. And and now I don't know. And now the the Bachelor Brown didn't come through. And you're and, a woman. And I'm I'm a woman. <laughs> I don't know what's going on. And now I feel like I have no I have no idea what's coming next. I'm waiting for another rock to hit the roof. You ain't seen nothing <laughs> yet. yet. Imagine if a truck came through the house. <laughs> big one of the big, big dog, concrete trucks come straight into you guys. All right, sorry. sorry. Next we have um, my diary, and this is where I just find like random diaries um, scattered throughout my mum's bin. <laughs> Entry number uh, 64,355,817. million three hundred and fifty-five thousand eight hundred and seventeen. <laughs> Zip zip. Stop it, you're wearing a German hat. So. <laughs> so today I heard the ice cream truck go past. My neighbours ran out and stopped it. I ran to ask Dad for some money and Dad handed me a knife and told me to ask the ice cream man for some and to make stabbing movements. I ran to the ice cream van and started saying, I want ice cream, I want ice cream, while stabbing the knife towards the man. My neighbours screamed and ran back inside and the ice cream man slammed his window shut and drove away really fast. I turned around and saw Dad laughing very hard. Then he threw an empty VB tolly at me and said, Suck on that if you're hungry. I did, and it was yum. It was a pretty good day. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, that made me want a VB. It made me want an ice cream. Wow. Uh, Sorry. Um... All right, now we're moving right along at the speed of sound to Michael's Bible. And Michael's put all of his wisdom into one book. And now he's going to read it for all of us to enjoy and learn from. So shut up and sit down. Bezos is about to address you. Why isn't Y spelt with just so the letter true. Y? I've always wondered that. I'll tell you why. Right after this short break. Pause. I'm not actually sure why. Sorry. <laughs> and like, I'm sure that question plagues every intellect. Did you make that alarm go off? Yeah. Yeah. yeah wow. Well, <laughs> with wisdom. I don't know if you guys could hear that, but yeah, a huge alarm went off in the flat lounge. Right. In the flat lounge. All right, guys. Now it's time for Matt Brown's Black Book. And this is a fucking cunt segment where Matt Brown has detailed all of his sexual experiences since he was fucking, fucking started slinging his slit up fucking cunt cunt. 14. This is Matt Brown's Black Book. Ah! You're making a mess. <laughs> got, it, got it here. <sighs> Just, uh, hang on. All right, everyone. I'm so sorry for what you're about to hear, okay? Just remember, this is Matt Brown who has written this years ago when he was a deranged psychopath, okay? Just remember that. It's nothing to do with me or Michael. 
all mad brown. Look at him. Look at that. Hey, mum. Hey, dad. Fucking eyes scanning the room, looking for things to shove up him. (laughs) (laughs) Have number 70. (laughs) It was a hot, humid summer's morning, and I was ironing the knots out of my scrotum. My thick skin sizzled as the red-hot iron glided across my outstretched testicles. A broad smile crept across my face as the distinct smell of my own searing flesh swindled up my nostrils. I get distracted and when I see movement out of the corner of my eye, someone was approaching my front door. I sprint like an emu to my window. It's the mailman, but a new mailman, one I had never seen before. He had short blonde hair and was wearing glasses. Hmm, Quite handsome. I make a split decision and decide to prank him. I excitedly waddle over to my front door. I had a mail slot in the middle of my door where my my mail would, would get delivered through. I quickly pull down my pants and stretch my asshole so as to the length of the mail slot. Then I press my asshole directly against the mail slot and wait. I can barely contain my laughter as I hear the footsteps approach from the other side of the door. (coughs) I hear the mailman fumble through his mailbag and then hear the sound of my mail slot being opened. Then I feel the gentle pressure of some letters being fed directly into my asshole. The mailman, clearly confused, pushes harder until his actual fingers are deep inside my wet shit tube. Then slap! I release my ass cheeks and my asshole wraps around his hand. I squeeze tight as he tries to pull his fingers out of my ass. I burst out into full laughter as he continues to attempt to wrestle his hands free. Then something strange happens. Instead of pulling out, the mailman starts to push his hand in further. His hand starts working its way on my colon, and before long, his entire arm is up to his elbow in my ass. Then something even more strange. I hear the mailman laughing on the other side of the door. Enough is enough, and I relax my sphincter and pull the arm out of me. The mailman pulls, pulls his arm back through the mail slot, and I immediately open the door. <laughs> That's a really funny prank, man. I got you back, though. <laughs> yeah, you did. I was not expecting that. Well played. So you're the new mailman. Welcome to the neighborhood. Yeah, I guess I am. Thanks for making me feel so comfortable. <laughs> of course. <laughs> I'm Matt Brown. <laughs> I'm Jeffrey Dahmer. But you can call me Jeff. Nice to meet you, Jeff. <laughs> hey, you want to see something cool? I found it this morning. Jeff starts to fumble in his mailbag and pulls out a little cooler. He opens it, and inside are some organs. Oh, wow. What are they? You found them, did you? Yeah, found them in my yard. Probably just some kids playing a prank or something. It's a heart, a stomach, and some lungs. Pretty neat, huh? Yeah, very interesting. We both stare at each other, and I can't quite explain it. But we shared a deep-rooted connection, like we had known each other for years. I felt immediately comfortable with Jeff, almost like we were kindred spirits. I love how shiny they are. Do you want to fuck them together? (laughs) I was a little startled by his forwardness, but I would be lying if I said I wasn't thinking the exact same thing. (laughs) Jeff, you read my mind. Please, come in. (laughs) I had a feeling you would be cool with it. We both enter my home and Jeff places his organs on the coffee table on my lounge room. So how shall we do this? Well, I'm just going to pick an organ and sort of just fuck a hole through it. (laughs) It's kind of just whatever you want to do. I watch Jeff remove his pants and flop his slug out of his underwear. I follow suit and release my little brown. We both stare at each other's cocks for a second. (laughs) And then Jeff picks up the stomach. Which one do you want? I, I want the stomach. He hands me the stomach and then starts dipping and wiping his balls across the lungs. <laughs> I look at the stomach. Its shininess is truly mesmerizing. I find a little hole and feed my flaccid little brown in. Almost instantly I become erect. I look over at Jeff and he's now fucking down at the lungs like a champion's. My pupils dilate and I start fucking the stomach. I use it like a flashlight and pull it over my salty fuckstick. Jeff and I become animalistic in our fucking and we both start making sounds. Ah! 
within minutes. We are tearing the organs apart and fuck thumping down at the bits we see. Jeff and I meet in the middle and kiss passionately, then pull away and swap organs. Jeff looks on in horror as my balls swell to ten times their size. Then he sees my gills widen along my neck. Look away! I scream just as I ejaculate powerfully into the fuckhole I had created in the lungs. My mince chunders out, dissolving the lungs before my, our very eyes. Mince gushes out and my balls tighten. I finish and with some mild embarrassment and my loss of control, I look at Jeff. He stares back. Well, Matt, I don't think I've ever seen that before. Yeah, sorry. Would you like to join me for some dinner and drinks at my place tomorrow? <laughs> I cook a mean steak. I was relieved that Jeff wasn't put off by my actions. <laughs> Jeff, I would love to. Write down your address and I'll be over at seven. Jeff leaves his address and I walk him to the door. I'm real glad I met you, Matt. You seem really cool. I'll see you tomorrow night. I'm looking forward to it, Jeff. Have a great day. I close the door as he leaves. Well, sure I'm glad I played that prank. What a fucking legend. <laughs> what a legend. <laughs> oh. Oh, so you can don't look at me like that. Well, no, look, I'm not going to say anything, but like, yeah, look, I, I, you know, it's he's a Maybe. If that's if that's the same guy. Oh. Anyway, let's move on. That guys can have friends too. Yeah, but like, come on, kindred spirits. Yeah, I don't know about the soulmate shit. You can't always have perfect relationships like you do. Oh man, that was um, yeah. Imagine fucking lungs. Like that would be weird. Like that. I wonder if you could like puff them up. Could he blow down the esophagus? Goo, goo, goo. You blow down the esophagus, they then blow up like could, a balloon. You could put your dick in it and then. <laughs> Suck it out, and then the lungs would tighten on your dick. It'll shrink wrap around your cock shaft. Oh, Matt, Sorry. don't. What was it? A heart, stomach, and lungs. What would you fuck if you had to? Maybe stomach. A stomach, yeah, probably like a little like it's yeah. perfect. Yeah, stomach. Yeah, the heart's more for the romantic. What about people. if it's a fresh stomach? It would be bad because it's like the acid still in. You might still have some peanut butter, butter sandwiches in there. But the, my, my. the acidic shit in it could erode your dick. You okay? Yeah. Why are you exhaling like that? I randomly burn. <laughs> so. Anyway, that's the black book for this week. All right, everybody. Let's fucking move right along. Let's keep it moving. All right. Should Holy shit. This? Yeah, we'll save that. We'll save that. Let's have a um quick. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry too. Questions? Uh, All right, let's move right along. Now we are going to. Oh, by the way, we got comment competitions, and we're going to reveal the winner of the comment comp. We're gonna we're gonna pick like six winners of the comment competition. By what the do way, you mean we got six. No, winners. listen, it makes no sense. It makes plenty of sense, and you're about to hear why. All right. Because the the person who wins may not be contactable. Okay, so oh, we're so going to pick backups. six people as backups. All right, and the comment com we're just going to pick a random comment of the entire season on the Marty and Michael Fully Actual YouTube channel. A random comment to win a thousand dollars. So the more times you comment, the more entries you have. I'd recommend having your email visible for us to get to. Yeah, if you can be fucked. Well, yeah, you should be fucked. And we're going to reveal it. Minute. We're going to reveal it on the season finale. All right, we're going to film it beforehand and then just show. You and hopefully, the winner watches the season finale. All right. So if you've ever commented, watch the season finale. <laughs> Sorry, I need it. I need it. I need it. I need it. I need Look at you. I need a shit. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> and playing the trumpet of floor, no? I'm playing the trumpet on the, Fuck, if, on the office chairs. If Michael doesn't like that smell, I'm glad I, I've got it's bad like HP sauce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's all wet. <laughs> it's damp around yeah, here. Yeah, it's swamp <laughs> Suffocation. I wonder what it's like for somebody to come from the yeah, outside. I'm so warm. For someone to come from the outside and just walk directly into this room. Imagine right if now. imagine switching onto our podcast as someone who's never watched it before at that very second just then. Are you? Imagine that. Imagining cow. Imagine it. Oh, fucking cow! Yeah, this is another. Sh- I can't wait. Isn't that what you season. just mentioned? No, that was the normal comment competition oh, for a thousand dollars. Next also season, running, we will have the board. Next season, oh, we're gonna have a we're gonna fucking cut the cow segment all together. <laughs> okay, we just have to do it now because we've committed to giving someone a thousand dollars at the end. <laughs> this is where Matt picked a comment, and you're going Hang on board on. probably and win a thousand. You guys stop picking comments, so I had to take over. Anyway, I'm not gonna complain. This is the board, man. Yeah, empty. It's not empty. There's, There's like six names on there, on there. out We've of 35. Like 10 weeks in. <laughs> I've got them but all. But they will all be on there for I've the got them all. Don't stress. We'll read. That's just going to do it 10 minutes before it's due. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Comment of the week went to Jason Marais. Yeah, depending where he's from. from. Um, all right. So he's referring to last week's episode <clears throat> and the outfit that I was wearing. Finally, Matt's head is covered. <laughs> oh, fuck me, man. That is shit. That is so shit. We gotta, next season, we got to make sure we don't commit to shit segments for the entire season. It did season. sound like a good idea, but I think everyone sort of just gave Sorry up. about this segment, guys. We've been fucking slogging nah, ourselves There was all some week. good ones early on, like fucking Greg. And- oh, yeah. No, I'm talking about this episode. We are fu- <laughs> This is a shit episode, man. I'm tired. Okay. Anyway. Sorry. It's so fucking, fucking warm. We don't have air con again. <laughs> Just in this it's room. It's going to be the worst summer. Every room has it except for... We've uh, only we got the doors. After right? this, we've only got four reps left. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> 36, 37, 38, 39, 40. Oh, sorry, and then we, we fail. Then we fail five at 40. Episodes left. Then we have an unorganized live show where nothing will work. No, 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 no. no, no. You're going to no, have no, sex. Fucking unorganized. Have sex. All right. All right. Questions. Questions. Uh, first question is, oh, wait, hang on. If you want us to answer your question, by the way, comment on, can you shut the fuck whistle shit? Comment on the Marty and Michael fully actual YouTube channel. We answer the most liked questions first. So have a scroll through and like the questions you'd like us to answer. On with the show. I'm sure I'm a fan. The black book has sex, fallen to pieces. Sex. It's evil has been released. All right. Um, most like question went to Henry Mahoney. Mahoney. Um, Jackson seems like a really nice guy. Can Thanks. we have him as a more regular guest? Yeah. Yeah. He lives on the Goldies and his back's fucked. We'll get him on as often back. as we can. His back's back. Yeah. We do try and get him on whenever. He's though. taller. We forgot to mention that last week. He he's literally look- like three centimeters taller now. You can tell it makes a big difference mm. because the, the discs they put in are bigger than the ones they removed. Mm. Two. Two. Sorry. Oh. Do you know that? Do I don't, you- don't want to converse with the... I don't know. We'll have, on we'll have our sub- bit over here and you do your thing over there. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, next question is from Maddie. Um, will the diary entries cool. of Julian ah. Woods return next season? Yeah, go on. They will. If enough people want that. How many likes did that have? I don't want that on me ever again. I can't tell because I photo- I questioned that early. So there might be more than what it was, but it was like eight. All right. So, yep. Done. Manscaped.com. I was lying. I love that shit on me. Right. Next question is from Austin Keats. Where do you boys get all the costumes from? Love seeing the new ones every week. They've just been accumulated over the years of all this. Oh, I know some videos. Heaps, heaps, and heaps. We got 
heaps. Yeah, we just it's just from doing our fuckery. We just grown men who play dress ups and it's just we now have a costume room where we just where we have all of our costumes from all of the videos that we filmed in the last two to three years. <laughs> Michael has fallen. Next question is from David Bisner. Bisner? Yeah, it's Bashlada. Bashlada. Um, um, Bashlada. Um, Marty and Michael, how can you live with yourselves knowing how. Michael, are you even listening? listening? Yeah, Someone has taken the time to, to write comment. you a question. question. Uh, Cutting that question. You guys upset me. No, no, go on. No. What is it? No. Was it? It sounded like a good question. No, move on to the next one. No, come on, man. No, that's what you get. If you want to fuck around, <laughs> that's what you get. I farted. You, you, you're ruining a fan's life I know. right now. You did. No, you can you can save it. No, it's gone. Wait, did you know Anne Frank never? Do- oh. <laughs> no, she's coming down the stairs. <laughs> what? <laughs> just look at it. Oh, he upstairs. looks. <laughs> he looks. Uh, he looked. Oh, nothing. Sorry. Sorry. Next question from Zach Jeanette. Uh, would you do an entire season one day all comprising of guests each episode? So different guests every episode. Um, I think there's some funny people out there worthy of the fully actual podcast. Yeah, we're getting more and more guests on, can't we? Fucking, we got Paulie and bloody Blakey. We're going to we'll try and we'll get some others on. I don't want to say too much, get hopes up and then have yeah. them destroyed. But yeah, no, we're getting more guests on, can't we? Uh, Alex Main also asked a similar question, uh, right. which is also highly liked. All right, cool. Next question is from... Is Shimmy too? That is racist as fuck, man. <laughs> I can't. Um, what names would you give your future kids? Oh man, I, t- t- a tangle, still, I, a tangle man <laughs> <laughs> for the middle name, a tangle man, and maybe for the first name. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how to spell that yet. <laughs> a tangle man. What about Matt? What would you name your fucking kids, Greg? Like some <laughs> fucking what would you call it right now if you had a Romeo? Oh, oh. that is shit. <laughs> you know, fucking worst name ever. What Corey? <laughs> worse than Greg? Worse than that? Sorry, Kane, but Kane is fucked. Yeah, worse than bad. Greg? Oh, Kane is. Yeah. Kane's like modern fucked. Greg's like old yeah, fucked. Greg, oh, Greg fucked. shouldn't even be in consideration Corey's as a name shit. anymore. <laughs> and fucking some names just should never be used anymore like fucking like all those old real old names like charles like jared <laughs> imagine oh wait nah jared right he's a legend <laughs> fuck sorry dude <laughs> but fucking what else what's another shit name names i wouldn't call my kid i'm not gonna say the name i want to because then people will steal it oh my god Gab- nobody Gab- cares Gabriel. what you name your kids people will steal it gabrielle no, nah, Gabriel's shit, I've realized too. Um, I reckon. Nevaeh, heaven spelled backwards. <laughs> Yuck. Oh, really? Fuck all those people who did that to their kids. Man, well, fucking. I reckon. What's my- hell backwards? Le. 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 <laughs> yeah. Are you Matthew or Matt? Matthew. Matthew. Matthias. Matthias. Matthew. No, nah, I'm Matthew on my birth card certificate. Thing, I go by Matt. Sorry. Anyway, more shit names would be... Do you go by Martin or Marty? What's on your birth certificate? I don't know. I've never seen it. Martin is... Who the fuck? Do you Michael's have your birth certificate? Michael's a shit name. Yeah. I can't fucking How do you talk. get things in life without your birth certificate? What do you get with a birth certificate? Free food? You know when they ask when you try and apply for like a home loan or a passport, they ask for your birth certificate. <laughs> means your property of the state. I've yeah, never exactly. ever had that. I don't think. Interesting. Yeah, you would... Yeah, that you would have... You were born in like a barn. <laughs> do you know... Do you know what... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> you, you gotta, you gotta watch what you're saying around me, Flonton. They're so <laughs> damn. You're underwater that when you like do it. That was like a double. That was like nearly watch going. You, watch your mouth. Oh man, they are reek. Watch your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> reeky, reeky. Sorry. What's does the words echo fields mean anything to you guys? Yeah, 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 of course. Someone suggested that we call the house Echo Fields after watching. It. Oh, That's yeah, that makes heaps of sense. Yeah, because we the echoed. Yeah, yeah. You wouldn't know. I would not. In know. a video where we defeated defecation, almost or sort of, probably. Sorry about we that. We heard echoes in our fucking, fucking backyard. House. 
All right, next question is from Shane Wilson. How did you guys come up with your own language that you throw into sentences like fly lie and Becklin, et cetera, et cetera? I think it's clang, just clang. Um, like, because we can't think of anything witty to say. So we just make sounds hoping that they'd be funny. It's just more of a, it's a really desperate shit low IQ attempt at getting a cheap laugh. <laughs> Man, there is like fucking Slon was fucking genius. Yeah, slon so last true. week the fucking pig Man, slon. That is, that is the peak of comedy. <laughs> slon, <laughs> it's the peak of comedy. <laughs> oh man, your names are great. So next, next question is, is from, from Peter Hunt. Hunt. Will well, the tickets to the live, live show be offered, offered to the members, members first? first? Yeah, well, we're talking about this today. Oh, we're going to go members and also the podcast viewers first. I think. And then we'll the, the rest will be like open to the public. So at the same time, um, not th- this Monday, but the Monday after, at the same time that they go, the podcast comes out. We'll have a link to the tickets, and we'll we'll announce it to the members as well. So yes, members will get first crack as well as the podcast listeners, <laughs> because you know streams trying to do come true. <laughs> Matt's thinking what have I done with my life dreams can come true <laughs> Matt's sitting here in mid 40s <laughs> he's got three legs I'm not I'm 35 Aww. same shit man next question is from Ryan Hammers um, Michael <laughs> what would you rather Watch the whole of the Star Wars films in full or shave your head for charity, of course. I'd watch the Star Wars, but I would get baked as fuck. (laughs) He's so protective. Maybe we should do that one day. Watch the entirety of Star Wars. It's... Dude, I tried once and... This you fucking, actually tried? Th- okay, Which there, one did you start? Oh, dude, it was so fucking disgusting. It felt like it was black and white. Like Has Yoda balls. had a stroke? <laughs> Is that why he talks like that? And Okay, there was a stupid low fucking CGI sandstorm. Oh, my God. Oh, I remember. And then there's this too. fat fucking thing. And it was just like talking shit. Dude, it was made in the 70s. Exactly. Make it, it's still shit for the 70s. They shouldn't have put it out if it's that yeah. bad. And then, then like, I was like, I can't deal with that. It's, it, it, you have there to was read, one, there was subtitles. Two. There was I one, read a, it's like reading a book. Remember that where Darth Vader goes. It was shit. You know Darth, what I'm talking dude, about, the fat Jabba Hut thing. <laughs> dude, where, where Darth Vader goes, no, and it's zooming out on him. That is so shit. Shit. Yeah, that one's the one yeah, you're referring dude. to is not that, the best that main either. actor. That 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 one of the oh main actor guy. God. He's such a bad actor. It made it's, me want to fucking it's like king hit my fuck mom. off. Hayden Anyone like Matt yes, yeah, you he, fuck him. Fucking posters. How does he have shit. a job? What do you you've mean? Got that fucking, disgusting. You've got you've what got R two D two fucking vacuum cleaner. Toy about it. You've got an R two D two vacuum cleaner in your fucking closet, cunt. You really? What? That Layla, that Layla thing with the fucking hair on the side of her head. You snot, you, you, you snot jet on fucking paper with that thing in your yeah. mind. And you, you've got fucking thong. <laughs> you have Star Wars thongs. I did have Star Wars. Oh, That's yucky! They broke. That's shit. It's Death shit. Star. You got <laughs> Death Star written on your fucking it's car. Shit. Like it's just shit. It's fucking. It. That's it. It's shit. May the force be with you. Oh my oh. god! I like. Oh, but like, fuck. June pissed me off even more. There's no guns in June. Well, June, June. was cool. Oh, What's no. June? It was better than Star Wars. Some other. Yeah, because it's June. But uh, hang on. June is a month of them. Hang on. Hold. Watch the old June and then compare it to Star Wars. But you won't do that, will you? Dude, I, I because think I Because you need to see it in the new technology. You have stupid. no respect Dude, for old even art. Even the new Star Wars, the one where he's going Darth Vader. I saw the scene. <laughs> Darth Vader gets out and it leaks. Who wears that dumb suit? <laughs> he does look like a, like a fucking wanker. Yeah. <laughs> who, who would dress up like that? No. <laughs> who would dress up like that? Oh, that's not even the... That's not even the... <laughs> That's like the mid ones. Oh, yeah, man, it's mid so ones exactly. Fucking it's like so they had a chance with technology, and oh. they still inserted that scene. Yeah, I know. That's what I mean. That's they made it was new world, and they fucked it up. And now the new ones are so woke, you can't be okay. fucked watching it. I have it's a question. Fucked. Could you make a better Star Wars? Yes, we already have. Yeah, well, holy shit, we actually have. But it's not. Yeah, we can't. It's not released it. yet. Sorry. And fuck, man, it's just. Oh, like get it? Yes, I get it. Astronomy and space, the sun, it's all rad. It's cool. But when you go down that path of Star Wars and you start getting into like 
the fucking weird. What's that Jar Jar Pink thing? <laughs> <laughs> you just watch the, the stupid fucking cars and the races, dude. It's just yeah. Shit. The races like don't have that. It's like, like are you trying to be uh, Fast and Furious in the fucking space clouds, cunt? Oh I mean, my pod God. racing. And oh man, yeah. I had fucking friends. <sighs> Call them friends, man. <laughs> they, they fucking used to mimic Jar Jar Binks's voice. You know how hard it is not to hit someone that copies his voice? Especially when women do it. Like that, who sir, you sir, that guy. Dude, no, the... <laughs> like, it's just shit. Yeah, it's very good. It's, you've seen, you've seen it, a lot of it. I've seen fucking ads on TV. I don't know. Now, and I get The mad. way you're mimicking, it tells me you may have seen more than what you let on. secretly laughed <laughs> He knows it off by heart sarcastically. <laughs> All yeah, right. I just, man, I'm never ever gonna. And now they're making one every year or something. They're just draining the money and it's just. Well, Disney has bought it and they're no, doing so. Yes, fuck have. Disney. Fuck that. You've just ruined every chance to get a Disney show now. Good. Oh, oh, Disney man. can. Yeah, like, what? Disney own Jack grooming kids. We're not pedophiles, mate. Which brings us to our next question from Trent. <laughs> Eclaz87. <laughs> um, how does it feel to get shot on? <laughs> Yeah, it does have this hot. Is it hot? Oh, yeah, it was warm. It, it was like rural. cat shit too. <laughs> it was. Like why does everyone keep shit? saying that? I'm so worried, you know? Oh, man, I'm still worked up about fucking Star Wars, hey? Yeah, that, I maybe we should have ended on can't that. can't stand it. Anyway, sorry. Yeah, you That's love Fortnite. Fortnite. I got you over to Fortnite oh, yeah, and you yeah. did give me a lot of shit about Fortnite yeah, to okay, begin yeah, with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't, I probably do. Like I, I, I don't think I'll ever get you to Star Wars, but I'm glad I got you to Fortnite. Anyway. I think we should try it. Dude, I, I can't do the old ones. The sandstorm. Yeah, not the fucking old ones. Yeah, why not the, the, old the old ones? Are it's the best. I refuse to yeah, sit you through some Return of the Jedi is the best. Oh Nothing God. beats when the Ewoks and the people oh join. Oh. <laughs> what forces. about the fucking losers Ewok. at school that would walk around with that stupid plat thing? Do you remember that? Oh. You'd have dress up day and you'd see these fuckwits. Have the little plat. The plat for this. The Yeah, who does that? I've never been friends oh, man. with anyone. Uh, that. Come on, Brown. No, nah, that's stupid. Brown, Brown. I thought you brown. had one. Sorry. Anyway, but, enough, enough. That's kind of brought an end to questions, I guess, doesn't it? Channel. All right, and that's questions. If you want to send to Chris, just uh, come on. YouTube channel. All right, let's do the PO box. PO Box is where we open you shit that you send us live every fucking time. So no matter what it is, we'll open it live. We don't know what it is. PO Box 256 Tagum 4018. It's written right there. Send us some weird shit because we open it live. This is from Hooper. And he lives at... Oh, wow. Just, oh. oh, shit, baby. What's that? What the fuck is that? Is it a torch? Bang! <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared to open that. Whoa. Oh. It's just a torch. You oh. press a button. Oh. Oh. <laughs> What's wrong? Right, so someone's drawn us some pretty pictures. Yeah, it's quite sure. nerve-wracking opening our um, mail from the fans because you never know what you're going to get. Oh. Oh, okay, so there's some really pretty pictures here. You know who this is? Is this a guy that hates Matt? He's Dave Hooper. No. And you just dropped a little note, Marty. You just dropped a little written note. Dave Hooper has sent this in. Oh, he has not. Yes, he has. How do you know? Because he said. He told us when we were here. Fuck, he must be just... No way. Yeah, he's been... Has he been sitting there just looking at the package open. sitting on my side table for weeks? Look at this, Matt. That's it. That's probably me. Now, this is the plans is on how... Oh, on how he did our paintings. The doodling of how oh, he look, came up. There's you fly line. <laughs> there's Marty. Holy looking. fuck. One of our, our mates is a very talented artist and he did some paintings for us, Dave Hooper, and he's just sent us all the doodlings, I think, of how yeah. he's come up with... Um, Our art pieces we ha he made the for the paintings us. he did. So there now, won't be any pubic hair or anything. If in here. you nice. want fucking cool art, God, I love mine, and it's going to be in the reaction room. Your one already is. Already is. Dave Hooper. Does he have a website? He should. www.davehooper.com. Dave Hooper fucking makes the coolest shit. 
Anyway, there you go. Plus, he's a good mate of ours. Yeah, fucking hell. All right, cheers, Dave. We'll have a fucking look through them fucking later, brother. What's with the um, pointer? It's just you got pointed to your eyes. Very good. All right, moving right along to the final, most explosive segment. The final countdown. What was the idea with Margaret? Uh, city council, we want to get plovers removed. Yeah. <laughs> Good evening, city council. This is... Uh, hello, uh, my name's Margaret. Um, I'm just calling. Um, we've had a, a rather a troublesome plover um, that's sort of been um, causing quite a bit of distress for my uh, 14-year-old son. Um, I was just wondering if there was any sort of uh, humane way we could have that um, removed, potentially, or if uh, we're just sort of going to have to put up with that till, till the end of the season. Um, I'm just going to have a look. I believe yeah. a plover may be a um, native bird. I'll yeah, just check. I'm pretty sure it is. Yeah, that's why I was just calling. And it's um, it's getting quite aggressive. Yeah, it's, it's uh, quite traumatic for my uh, son, Bront, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, now, my understanding is that uh, this yeah, um, yeah. relocating yep. it may not right. be an option because it is a native animal. But yeah, what yeah, I would yep. do is I would call the Queensland government right. yeah, um, for yep. general information about living with native wildlife. Right. Um, yeah, yep. Um, and I can give you their number, which is 137468. Second, sorry, let me just get a pen. One second. Certainly. Rod! Do you have a pen? Sorry, just one, one second. Mm-hmm. Rod! Give me the pen. Sorry, go ahead. It's 13, 13 74, yeah. 74, 68. Yeah. 68, yeah, okay. Um, look, um, Would you like me to transfer you through there now? No, look, that, that's okay. I just have a couple more questions, if that's all right. Um, so are we um, able to... I know um, the people you want to transmit for me to might have uh, some more details, but are we able to uh, potentially relocate the bird ourselves? Because I'm pretty sure the eggs have hatched and there's no longer any chicks running around. Um, I don't know that you would be able to relocate it because it's a native protected species. If it's a right, native right. animal, I they see. have protection. Right, yeah. Look, um, look, it's, uh, it's bombing us pretty heavily and it seems to be hitting my son on the head when he comes home from school! Is there anything that we can do at all? Like, maybe some protective headwear or something! Anything we can do! Is there anything we can do or... Intent? Sorry, I didn't understand half of that. Yeah, sorry. Um, is there any... So it seems to be bomb diving is my it, son. Is there a, can I just ask, is there a question that you're raising your voice? Is there a reason? Sorry? Sorry, I don't understand the question. Is there a reason that you are raising your voice? Raising my voice? Sorry, over the I'm, Over the phone. I'm not following. I'm not following what you're saying. There's a lot of very Look. loud dialogue happening intermittently. Look, I'm, I'm just trying is, to Is that talk you to or? Well, Sorry? yes, it's me talking, yes. Okay, it's just it's very, very loud in my headset. Right. Um, yeah, sorry. Maybe I'll, I'll um, yeah, I, I don't know what to tell you, darling. I'm, I'm just uh, talking to you. Um, like like I'm talking to you, but there's intermittent, yeah. very loudness and yelling, etc. Right. It's just hurting my ears, that's all. Maybe it's a bad line or connection or something. Yeah. Oh, I don't know that it's a bad line or connection. Right, yeah. Um, oh, look, I'll, um, I'll keep an eye out for it. Anyway, um, so... Um, if it does happen again, I have to warn you that I'll have to connect, disconnect. That's fair enough. Look, that's fair enough. I, I would be uh, mm -hmm. exactly the same, mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, so... Okay, all right. Yeah. So, um, I've yeah, so given it is you the information making, that I have available yeah, The bird itself is actually, um, it's it's, uh, it's hitting my son on the head and he's coming home with little cuts again, all over his head. I'm going to have... <laughs> oh. oh, my God. Oh, the poor lady. She's having so oh. lovely. Oh, man, I feel bad, eh? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> that was rough. Oh... Oh my god, I loved it. Oh man. Oh well, at least like... Anyway. What's that noise? 
China. It's happening. They're here. It's been good, boys. Imagine if this we we did die now. <laughs> Boom. God, that would be so funny. Kidding, it's just a hospital helicopter. Anyway, guys, that's the end of episode number 35. We're sorry about this one. We probably won't even post it. No, we have to. Okay, we're going to post it. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Actually, don't worry about commenting and liking. Just subscribe. Yeah. And give us a five-star review on Spotify. You know, Mr. B said that commenting does nothing. Yeah. And liking does nothing. It's crazy. Nothing. Watch time is all that matters. So please watch the podcast all the way to the end. Even just play it and walk away. Yeah. Really? Yep. When did he say that? Podcast. Which one? Number fifty clean. He didn't say it on Joe Rogan, did he? Full send, man. No. Anyway, be strong and be wise and don't ever let anyone be you. We're the best. 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 That's our worst of the season. That's our worst of the season, Matt. And that's your fault. Yeah. Why? Because of what you did at the start. You butchered that lie. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Oh, yeah. See? I just don't like lying. The Jackson line. It wasn't natural for me. Oh, wait. I've got a way to finish it.